Happening today, Texas lawmakers continue their work in Austin for the state's, uh, state's 88th legislative session. And even though the new session just started earlier this month, at least one old issue will be coming back up again today. And the text. Oh, oh, my bad. No, no, my bad. <laughs> the Texas Senate will hear public testimony on redistricting. Maps were first redrawn during a special legislative session at, back in 2021 after the delayed release of federal census data. But a handful of lawsuits were filed claiming that the Texas Constitution requires redistricting to occur during the first regular session after the census, not a special one. Six more redistricting hearings will be held through the end of this week, but experts say the maps are not expected to change that much. Meantime, other lawmakers say they are working to get justice for families of the Uvalde victims. It's been just over eight months since a teen gunman opened fire inside Robb Elementary, killing 19 children and two teachers. Now State Senator Roland Gutierrez, who represents the city of Uvalde, has introduced a bill that would establish a compensation fund for each of those victims' families. Settlements would range from $100,000 to $1 million, with the money coming from a proposed five-cent-per-bullet tax on ammunition sales. Gutierrez also introduced a second bill that would end qualified immunity for police. That one takes aim at what's widely considered a botched response by law enforcement on the day of the attack. But under no circumstances should they have what happened on that day. This state agency, the Department of Public Safety, that failed these children for 77 minutes for a lack of leadership, under no circumstances should they be allowed to walk away and not compensate people. There's not an amount of money that's going to bring back their children. Not one bit. But there should be justice. Texas DPS still has not released their official report from that tragic day last May in Uvalde.